Studying is challenging and it's extra challenging when you have personal issues in your life that are interfering with your ability to focus and concentrate and exceed academically. Life can kick you and it can kick you pretty hard and it's how you handle those kicks that make the difference. You have to get back up again and rise from the ashes like a phoenix and continue to push. In this video, I'm going to answer an email that I received from a viewer here on the channel and this person is experiencing a personal dilemma. They're having some issues and hopefully after watching this video, it might help you and hopefully it helps this person. If you have advice for people, leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, I'm going to read the email very carefully and then I'll do my best to answer it. The person's name is Farooq and they are from Pakistan. Dear Math Sorcerer, I trust this message finds you well. My name is Farooq and I am currently one of your viewers. I hope it's not too unconventional to reach out to you with a non-mathematical query, but I find myself grappling with a personal challenge that is impacting my ability to concentrate on my studies. In recent times, I have been dealing with the complexities of unreciprocated love, and it has been quite a struggle for me emotionally. The situation has been affecting my focus and concentration, making it challenging to fully engage in my studies. I understand the importance of maintaining academic focus, and I am reaching out to you seeking any advice or strategies you may have for students facing personal challenges while trying to excel academically. Your guidance is highly valued, not just as a math teacher, but also as someone who may have insights on navigating personal hurdles while striving for academic success. If you have any suggestions or recommendations on how I can manage my emotions and maintain focus during this time, I would greatly appreciate your input. Thank you for taking the time to read my message, and I genuinely look forward to any advice you can offer. I appreciate your understanding and support. Best regards, Farooq from Pakistan. Wow. So this is something that is common. Let me just first say that, Farooq. What you're experiencing is something that I think pretty much most human beings experience at one point in their life, whether it be some type of unrequited love or a situation where you're in a relationship and then that relationship ends. These are very, very common things that people go through and it doesn't make it any easier, but you have to rise above it. So I think the first thing to do is acknowledge your feelings, realize what you're feeling is normal. It's normal to feel sad. It's normal to feel frustrated. It's normal to feel confused. It's normal to wonder why things aren't working out the way you want them to work out. So accept the fact that you're feeling this way and realize it's normal. Realize that this is something that people go through. You know, if you, if you ask a random person who is, I'll just pick an age, 75 years old, that that's a long time to be alive, right? They have experienced a lot of things. They've probably had some serious ups and downs in their life and they've navigated through all kinds of challenges. So you're just getting started. And this is one of, one of the first ones, hopefully, and may, maybe the last one, but probably not. Something you can do that will help you right away is to create some type of routine and make it manageable. You want little small goals and you want them manageable. So like maybe try to do a little bit of math every day at a certain time. Maybe start exercising a little bit every day at a certain time. Try to create a routine, try to create little goals for yourself, personal goals that will make you better. You know, maybe work out every other day or every day, just a little bit, or again, do a little bit of mathematics every day, create routines. And those routines will help keep you grounded and keep your mind off of these feelings that you're experiencing because of this person. By creating a routine and sticking to it, I think that's going to help you tremendously. When I say routine, I mean both an academic routine and a physical one. Maybe work out you know, every day, set a routine where you're able to do cardio one day, maybe weights one day, create a routine that gets you active, keeps you moving. You have to keep moving forward because you have to move past this. Also creating some type of academic routine where maybe you do a little bit of math every day can help you tremendously. Now you mentioned you're having 
challenges, you know, keeping focus, my advice would be to do a little bit of math every morning if you can, and then do some exercise every morning or in the afternoon. I personally prefer exercising in the morning, but if you can't, um, you know, any time will work. But I think those routines and focusing on personal growth and focusing on moving forward are the first step in order to, you know, move past this. And realize that time will heal the wounds, right? In time, things will get better. It just takes time. It's not going to happen overnight, but I think by focusing on yourself, focusing on improving your mental state and your physical state, I think that's going to make a big difference for you. And I think it'll help you focus on your studies more and you're going to feel better. Also, make sure you eat right, make sure you're sleeping, all of those things. And again, realize, realize that people go through this. People have relationship challenges. I'm sure everyone watching this video or most people watching this video have had some type of issue with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or some other type of issue with a relationship and they had to work through it or they're currently working through it. And these are things that they, they really distract you academically. They, they really take you down, especially when it first happens. It feels like OMG, like everything is really bad all of a sudden, right? But in time, gets better. It really does. I remember when I was in discrete mathematics, I had just ended a relationship and it was hard, you know, taking discrete math, which was a very challenging class and ending a relationship at the same time. It's tough, right? But you have to rise above it and you will. I think you will. I think if you create some type of routine where you can train your mind and train your body every day, I think that's going to keep you grounded and it's going to keep you moving forward and it's going to help you incredibly. And I want to emphasize both things, not just studying, but also the physical part, okay? Getting out there and running, lifting weights, playing a sport, whatever it is, stay active, stay grounded and keep studying because you will move past this. Another thing you can do is perhaps try to you know, avoid this person. Try not to put yourself in situations where they're there. You really want to just move on. It's an, it's an unrequited, I can't say the word, unrequited love. It's a word I can't say. I always forget. Uh, I'll use it as an excuse. English is not my first language, but I should be able to say it correctly. In any case, I think, I think you can move past this. If anyone else has advice for Farouk, leave a comment in the comment section below. I think it can help a lot of people. And if you take away anything from this video, it should be that these situations are normal. It's part of life. We all have challenges, whether it be a bad breakup, a, a rejection, an unrequited love, whatever it is, these challenges will always come into play and they will distract you. That's one of the hardest things about studying, right? Is that when you have relationship issues, it's really, really hard to focus. And I think Again, the best way to get through it is to create some type of routine where you're doing both mental and physical. You know, work on yourself, and in time, things will get better. It affects teachers, too. You know, if teachers have a bad day, they still have to go in there, and they have to get on the board, and they have to teach. You know, I've done it, right? I've, I've had bad days, and I go up there, and I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Today, I'm going to teach calculus and I'm going to do my best. I'm going to make sure that they understand the chain rule because that's what I'm here to do. And you prioritize that. It reminds me of an interview I did with uh, this mathematician. He's really famous. He's written a couple books. His name is uh, Thomas Garrett. He's a great guy. And uh, he, he talked about in his interview how, you know, when he's teaching, he has to put aside all that stuff. He made some comment in the interview about how, you know, no matter what, you know, he, he goes in there and he, and he gives it his best. And, you know, yeah, no matter what life throws at you, right, you, you have to keep moving forward. You have to keep moving forward. If you want to learn mathematics, uh, I do have courses. Check out my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They're on the Udemy platform. But if you use my website, it helps me greatly. Otherwise, Udemy takes almost all of it. Plus, I lowered the price to the bare minimum. So if you use my links, you should get a really good price. And I've got courses on everything. Uh, I don't have any courses on relationship <laughs> advice yet, but it's a real problem. And I think it's something that people don't talk about. So I wanted to really just make this video and reply and put it on the internet because maybe if it helps one person, that's good because we all go through it, right? We all go through 
these really hard issues with relationships and it takes us down. You can't let it take you down. You have to keep pushing forward. Keep doing mathematics.